Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming with another episode of New Vegas. All right. When we left off, we were exploring the depths of Vault 11 to figure out what went down when it came to this vault. And uh, we've come across a flooded section here, and I think I put the rear breather on. Uh, no, I did not yet. Uh, let's pop that on now. Wait. I'm wearing it underneath the combat helmet? What? Wait a second. <laughs> I can wear it underneath the combat helmet. <laughs> I never knew that. That's new. I did not know. Now I know. That is cool. Okay. That is fucking cool. Anyway. In we are... Well, that's a toast computer. What have we got in here? Differential pressure controller. I think that's the thing we needed. Yeah, that was one of the things we needed. And we found it underneath the water. Can I not get into that? Is that like bolted shut or whatever? Sealed? That well, looks like it. Okay, well, fuck me. Guess we can't get into that. What we got over here? Ah, stuff. Useless stuff. This is less useless. Ooh. Useless. I can't fucking talk today. <laughs> I'm still slightly sleepy. I apologize. Anything else back here? Nope. Nothing over here either. Well, this was an exercise in futility. Yay. <laughs> oh, boy. Should I keep it on? Because <laughs> it does. It does. Well, that's damage resistance. That kind of goofs the uh, damage threshold thing, doesn't it? I don't know. And I'll just keep it on. I'll keep it on for now. If I can wear them both, fuck it, I'll wear them both. Gives me versatility at the most random times. Alright, you guys... That's uh have you follow me? If I follow them. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Alright, now you guys follow, I go. Um That was weird. Don't know what you guys were ready for. As far as I was aware, there was no combat going on. Maybe when I head further over here. May... Yep. Sounds like that'll be a thing. But, we're a little too far away from it right now. It must be underneath. Or above? No, that's the way we came in. Okay. Okay, so. That's not it. Overseer's office. Will that lead us there? I don't know. No idea. Eddie, you need to calm down. You keep playing the same track over and over again. Alright. There's gotta be a way to get down there. Huh. Maybe if we go this way. Maybe that'll get us there. Atrium down this way. It's the exact same path we took earlier. Oh, okay. This is what was wrong. There we go. Those were nice quick kills. Oh, and the reactor's over here. Oh my. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is there anything good on you? No. How about you? No. Okay. Well... We're making our way to the reactor for whatever reason I've decided to do so. I honestly have no idea why I'm heading in here, but there's probably a good reason. Probably. Is that? Oh, that's that was sandbags. I thought it was something else. Okay. That's... Nah. 
And nah. Ooh. Let's see what's in here. Okay, really? This entire side's useless. There we go. Missile. Alright, I'll pick those up. Sure, why not? Value's worth it. Just barely. And that gets me into here. Well. I'm semi-happy that I had uh, popped right away earlier. Okay, well. All the radiation seems to be over here. Oh. There's another bit underwater. Oh. And this is average lock, so... That was lucky. All the enemies seem to be over here, so I might as well pop these guys. Wow. That was metal. <laughs> I didn't expect it to edit that easily. Yeah, that was too easy. I didn't expect it. Oh. Well, wet spots. Some, some nice details. Alright, and the rest of them should be over here. Hi there! Alright. Got an egg on you. Nice. Nice kill. And goodbye. Yeah. There's been worse. We have done far worse. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Jeez. Uh, you can tell how easy it is. How easy it is for me to just outright kill these little things. It's almost not worth it. Oh, and that one's dead. I guess they were fighting each other. That was what all of that was about. Prepared speech of Gus Olsen, ombudsman for the annual ombudsman. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck is that even mean? For the annual overseer election. Okay. Let's grab it. Is this an actual audio tape, or is it... If that's the case, probably be in data then. Oh, no. It's, uh, it's a written one. All right. Good afternoon. Each year, it is the appointed task of the Ombudsman, still don't know what the fuck that is, not only to officiate the election, but to chronicle it in hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office. What? What? So that's why no one wanted the overseer job. <laughs> Apparently they had to go into a chamber underneath their office to then... Ah? Uh? <sighs> why? Is this, was this a thing set up by vault -Tec? Jesus Christ, this is barbaric. And the vault has become still. Was there actual consequences if no one did anything? Alright. That one day some excavator from humanity or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings might find our records and incorporate them into the historical canon. Alright. But lately it's occurred to me that that's... N oh, sorry. So lately it's occurred to me that that's not really why. I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all this. Or perhaps there will be one when the histor <laughs> historical records are completed and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense. To understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. I'm sorry, yearly? They had to do this every year? Uh, 
how did the population sustain itself at that point? How stuffed was the vault? Because at some point, you're going to run out of people. If that is yearly. Jeez. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I very much bet. There was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's definitely not that now. But now, with the rise of the voting blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else, we want to know why. Yeah, that's probably... It's probably a good thing to wonder. It's probably good to get philosophical in that particular moment. Well, I've been through the archives, and I can tell you, you won't find the answer there. You won't find an account of the first overseer who entered the vault as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place. But he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizens' anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that they would want to choose a sacrifice gem <laughs> democratically, in the way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds and that his name would be at the top of the polls, and that the simultaneous vacancy of Overseer and Martyr would forever fuse the two positions here on Vault 11. But he didn't. He had the answers no more than the rest of us, and the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife Betty's first name, and its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice, he walked down into that room crying like a child. Oh boy. They forced him to do it. They forced... Oh, no wonder. It's become a sort of tradition for them. Oh, my God. That is beyond fucked. I can only wonder if there are no answers to be found, and we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice. Nevertheless, I still hold on to hope that we can find one. I urge you all to take the journey I took, to remember that it wasn't so long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity, and that those were times that when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. Well, Gus, you're, uh... You're, uh, right in that regard. There's absolutely everything wrong with the way this place is run, but... I have no idea what would, uh, what would change it. Kind of wonder what happened where you discovered that you didn't have to. If that, if you piece together that vault tape from uh, earlier when we walked in. Are we really going to do this? It's open. We could just leave. They figured out a way Not to open kidding. the door. Not after that. We don't deserve to leave. A shining example. That's what it called us. But we were. We did what we were supposed to. Not by a long shot. Anybody would have done what we did. They all took That's part. Exactly the problem. They all took part in the whole system. And they couldn't live with themselves after that. Even after they discovered that they didn't have to go along with it. And I'm assuming when they didn't go along with it, that allowed them to open the door. A shining example. So they went along with what they thought was supposed to be done for decades they said jeez all this time they didn't have to do it and they couldn't have known they didn't know until eventually someone said enough and didn't do it? I 
I don't know what to think there. Who would have... Who would have just ignored what they were being told to do in this regard? I, I don't know. I'm just going to go into here. Figure out what I can out of here. Whoa. Pfft. Well, some of those things are floating now. Whoa, geez. No, 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 no. You guys don't follow me. You guys absolutely do not follow me. All right, you stay here. Brought... Yeah, you should have brought something to read. That's on you. All right, where the fuck is Eddie? I have no idea. As long as he's not down here with me, should be fine. What the... Oh, that was a pipe. Okay. That is a reactor room. Inside we go. Oh, jeez. This must have flooded after the fact, after everyone was dead. I'm assuming these sand blocks meant... You know, sand bags, rather. <laughs> Jesus. Meant that they did try the uh, attempt that they were planning. That they were going to try and take over the spots that they needed to take over. And maybe that was why they ended up avoiding the... Uh, sacrifice that they were supposed to do that no one did it because they were busy uh, pulling a mutiny but that doesn't seem right if they heard something about a shining example they had to have forced a uh, something right. I just realized I saw a carton of cigarettes and didn't pick it up I was like, ah, I should probably pick that up. It's still worth something. In other places. Up we go here. And there we are. Alright, where the... I have... Why am I still gathering radiation? <laughs> oh, because I was in the reactor room. That makes sense. Okay. I didn't think about that. As I said it, I didn't think about Aww, that. Just when the standing around was getting exciting. <laughs> smart little shit. Alright, come on, Veronica. I have no idea where Eddie went. But I'm sure he's fine. I haven't gotten a notification that he's dead or anything. Up we go. Atrium. And... Atrium Terminal. Ow. Oh. I already read that speech, so don't need to read it again. Okay, that's... That's a dead end. Okay. So, this just leads into here, and that's about it. Alright. I have no idea where Eddie went. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little concerned. I guess we should go back to the uh, overseer's room now. Now that we figured out that there's a fucking extra chamber in there. All right. Cross the reactor room. Here we are. Yeah, we were just in there, so no reason to go back. Here we are. Uh. Yeah, just making sure I didn't miss anything. And... I don't think I missed anything in, on this side either, so let's just go back to the overseer's room. What the hell is that noise? Not sure what to make of that. Oh, yeah, that was that. Whoop. T didn't mean for that. Oh, that's, that's what it was. All right, where the fuck is that? Where the fuck is that overseer office? That's the atrium. I think it's across this way. God, I made myself so lost right now. 
Overseer's office, okay. There it is. Tunnel. Usually they put the tunnels underneath. Let's log in. Open sacrificial chamber. Yeah, that would have, uh... That would have clued me in had I gotten onto this terminal. Holy shit. Where the fuck is Eddie? God damn it. Okay. Maybe if I leave the vault, he'll come with me. Well, that's not a good look. Um. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. I'm sorry, what? This, this was a whole thing. vault set this up. Holy shit. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. They really want me to go to the light right now. Uh, maybe not that one. This one, maybe. Eh, no. I'll stick with this until we have an idea. Otherwise... What the f... That was blinding. Um... Uh... Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. Okay. Um, I feel like I shouldn't right now. At least not right now. I'll do that in the next episode. I want to figure out what's going on here. But, um... Wow. Vault Tech set up a whole sacrificial chamber. For what purpose? Alright, I gotta end this. <laughs> anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And discovering Vault Tech was more fucked up than I could have ever imagined for you.